Hey, welcome back, Chrysler. Right, this is another uh, short video about the term Uther Pen Dragon, which has probably caused more confusion and red herrings and everything than any other term in Arthurian history. And it's weird, because when you see it's a straightforward title, <laughs> it, it, it's difficult to know why it's a mystery, like so many of these things. It seems to be because it's British or Welsh history, it has to be myth and complicated, it's actually dead simple, okay? So I'm going to do, just look at the, <clears throat> we'll come to the word Uther in a minute, sometimes with a Y, Uther, and you see some accounts where this is supposed to be the father of Arthur, we'll exp explain that as well in a second. <clears throat> then what you got is Pen Dragon, okay? Now Pen means top or head, I think most people will be familiar with that word. Now what's not so often used these days is the word dragon. Now the problem is, because there is a word dragon in English, which means the big fiery thing, people just naturally assume that this dragon means dragon and general sort of implied or inferred or something. No, it's not the case. The Welsh word for dragon is draig. Draig, it's dry cork. It's not dragon cork, okay? And here we go. If you look at the old Welsh dictionary here, this one's from the early 19th century. Uh, why these, some of these words disappear, I don't know. So there's the full page. Let's zoom in a little bit. So there you got it. Uh, dragon is a leader. And then the top leader, the pen dragon, the generalissimo. He's the guy in overall charge, if you like. Uh, so you can read about him there. And it's, what's curious about it is other words as well tie in with dragon, all right? So before people say, oh, just make these things up. Um, well, I don't know why and how they invent the whole dictionary, but there you go. Like it just doesn't fit is the problem. So your drag is a piece from dragiad is tearing in pieces. Dragio to pull or rend in pieces. Dragiog, having rent, jagged. So let's look at the full definition of the word dragon. <coughs> so we've got the dragon there. Uh, sorry, I'll come on to Uther in a second. So dragoni, the verb to act as a leader. Dra I mean, there, it, you know, it, it's it's the supreme, oh, a dragon owl, that's interesting. A supreme leading foremost, a supreme chief. So you've got a dragon owl as well. So we have this little zoom in there. Dragon, a leader, pen, dragon, generalissimo, okay. And you've got the, the verbs and everything. <clears throat> right, okay, now we've got... Uh, <clears throat> there's the full page. I'm going to zoom in on Uther, which is around there somewhere. Uther. Here we go. <clears throat> Same thing again. So, Uth is extreme or extended. Uther is stunneth, awful, wonderful, astonishing, terrific, horrible. So this is the leader, the great leader. He's terrific, he's horrible, the great general, the scary, frightening. Uh, and what would happen is... If the Welsh or the British at the time were under threat, like say from the Saxons or something, and the whole country had to come together and unite under one leader, <clears throat> so you have the different kingdoms, all with their own generals and kings, you can't run a military campaign like that. You have to make one the senior king, and that's the Uthapen dragon. It's a it's a title. There are six famous Uthapen dragons, okay? <clears throat> so we go on to um Arthur was an Uther Pendragon. He was made high commander to fight against the Saxons. Very famous, all right? But you have to allow that there are... A, well, there's actually about five Arthurs, but there's two famous King Arthurs, okay? So you've got King Arthur II, who's the one who gives rise to the round table and fighting the Saxons. He's in the 6th century from Glamorgan and Gwent. And then you've got Arthur I from Warwickshire. Now, um, and now he... This is where I think the confusion comes in with Uther Pendragon because there was a British king called Uther. And much like you have the Romans, where you have Caesar, there was someone called Caesar, but after that, the term Caesar becomes a, a, a job title, or a, a, it's like the, the word for the, the Caesar, <laughs> the supreme commander. Same in Welsh, uh, there was an Uther, but then Uther was, became, so maybe it wasn't his name either, maybe just a title. But that's where the, the confusion comes from. So Arthur was an Uther Pendragon, his father Myrig was an Uther Pendragon, his father Tudric and Tithfelt before him, and six famous ones when the armies had to come under a high commander who seems to have been chosen pretty much by a popular consensus, consensus of those bringing their forces. Um, you know, if you don't want him to be your high general, you just don't send your forces. So there you go. Hopefully that clears it up. And... Um, I don't know, it's just, as Alan Wilson often says, the only mystery is why is there a mystery. Until next time, Heather.